Hey guys, what's going on? It's John here. And I know it's been a while since I've made a video, but I'm back and I'm better than ever, and I'm ready to give you guys tips for Rainbow Six Siege. So without any further ado, let's get into today's video. With the recent release of Operation Parabellum, Team Rainbow has seen two new GIS operators, that being Maestro and Alibi, join their team. And I'm going to be doing a series talking about how to play every single operator to help newer players decide maybe which ones they want to buy, which ones they think are better, and I figured a good place to start is with the newest ones. In today's video, we will be covering Maestro. One of two Italian GIS defenders, Maestro is 3 armor, 1 speed, whose primary ability allows him to place down his compact laser emplacement CLEV, or as he calls it, Evil Eye, which is essentially a bulletproof, rotatable camera that also has the ability to use a laser mounted inside when you aim down sights. Maestro's Evil Eye is also a thermal imaging camera very similar to the new bulletproof cameras, and it is also important to note that when using his Evil Eye gadget, it's very important to place it on indestructible walls. Not reinforced walls or soft cover, because if a reinforced wall or a soft cover gets destroyed, the Evil Eye will also go with it. So placing it on walls that you just can't shoot through are impenetrable is your best bet, because then it's most likely to survive the maximum amount of time. In my eyes, Maestro's Evil Eye has two primary purposes. One primary purpose is as an anchoring camera for defense, as most of the times cameras get taken out fairly quickly as most of the attackers know where they are, so they end up being a rather useless gadget for the defending team to use. Since Maestro's Evil Eye is bulletproof, unless he is opening the window to deploy the laser, it does a fairly good job at anchoring viewpoints and watch points and just putting them in places where you don't really want attackers to attack from. However, that being said, his evil eye can be countered by using explosives. Frag grenades will take it out, Sledge can destroy it with his hammer, Ash can destroy it with a breaching round, and Zofia's impact grenades can also take it out, so just be aware of that. And the second function of the camera, and the lesser function in my opinion, is the ability to open the window and deploy the laser. The laser does a small amount of damage, it's, I believe it's 5 damage to operators, but also it can be useful for destroying gadgets like drones and breaching charges, and if the opportunity arises, it is fun to annoy the shit out of people when they don't notice your camera, or they turn their backs and you can zap them, and it ends up looking a little something like this. Uh, I killed the Twitch drone. Protect the biohazard container. Uh, Boop. <laughs> <the container>. You <laughs> asshole. Sorry, I had to. I had to. No, you didn't. I did. So while it is fun to take out gadgets and kill people with the camera, when the opportunity arises I wouldn't say that it's the primary function of the camera as it does leave it vulnerable to being destroyed. Of important side note, when the window is closed it can be disrupted by Twitch and Thatcher but it can only be destroyed by those gadgets when the bulletproof window is open. So now that we've gone over his gadget and how to use it, let's move on to Maestro's weapons. So Maestro has two choices of primaries and secondaries. His choices for primaries are the Alda 556, an LMG with an 81 round capacity, a ridiculous rate of fire, and um, generally it's an awesome weapon. He has access to the ACS-12, a fully automatic shotgun. For secondaries, he has access to the Keratos 357, which is a revolver, and the Bailiff 410, which is a shotgun pistol. For primaries, while the shotgun is fun for doing things like this, the ACS-12's range and damage are rather limited, and honestly I see it as more of a gimmick, and I believe the Alda is a better overall weapon because it allows you to do things like this. Last 
In summation, between Maestro's gadget and his ability, it allows him to be an incredibly strong pick for a defender in Rainbow Six Siege. Maestro is incredibly good at being an anchor, with his evil eye allowing him to hold down long lines of sight as well as the objective at the same time, and its ability to zap gadgets and operators as well as see through smoke is incredibly useful. It remains to be seen whether or not Ubisoft will balance him in the upcoming months, but as for right now, I think he's very worth it for you to spend your hard-earned renown or real-world money on. If you haven't bought the season's pass, he's a great operator and I thoroughly enjoy using him. Sorry I haven't uploaded in a while, um, I've been incredibly busy and I know that's not an excuse, I felt like I didn't have time to edit videos, but I'm back, I'm better than ever and I'm going to be consistently uploading, so I hope you enjoyed this week's video. Join me for next week's video where we talk about the other Italian GIS defender Alibi and what the best way to play her is. As well, I would like to have a discussion about toxicity in Rainbow Six Siege, so I hope you look forward to those videos. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video about Maestro and how to play him, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.